Hello guys, in this tutorial, we are going to create this cool isometric bedroom in Blender. So let's get started. Okay, so here's our default scene. Let's select this pointlet and delete it. And now press 0 to go to camera view. Select our cube and let's go to edit mode. Just select this vertex and press delete and delete vertices. Now go to face selection mode and now select all of these faces and press alt e and extrude faces along normals and extrude them a little bit just like that okay so now press a to select all and then press s to scale and scale down on the z axis just like that and let's press g and z to move them upwards fine okay so let's adjust our camera okay so let's select our cube and let's again go to edit mode and let's add in a few edge loops so one about right here one right here one right here and the last one right here okay so let's add in vertical edge loops so this one right here and this one right here okay so let's select both of these faces and extrude them outwards just like this and delete faces we are not going to delete these two faces because we need them for the light and also as the emission plane of our scene okay so let's go to materials and let's add in a material create new and i'll rename it as emissive okay and let's select both of these faces and hit click emissive and hit assign okay so let's go to emission and let's set that to white and set the emission strength to 5 okay so let's go to object mode and let's go to render view and set the render engine to cycles okay so now as you can see we are getting some light from the from those material okay so okay so let's go to render settings and turn on this denoising and i set the start sample to 10 for much faster renders okay so let's go to materials and set the original material to complete white and increase the roughness and specular value okay so now it's time to add in our floor material for that we are going to download a cool blender add-on called blender kit let me show you just type in blender kit and select the first link and then go to blender kit website and download this add-on and then go to blender and then go to edit preferences and go to install and select the zip folder we have where you have downloaded the blender kit add-on and then just check this box here and now you will see a search bar in our scene so click here for materials and let's search for wooden floor okay so let's see which is best for our scene okay so i think this will look nice so let's go to materials and add in a material and just click this material to download okay so now we have downloaded the floor material now let's go to material preview and let's go to edit mode and select this faces and go to wooden floor and hit assign and let's go to uv and smart uv project okay so now our floor material is looking pretty cool let's go to render view okay so let's add in few stuff in our scene so i am going to use this blender kit add-on for all of these things so click here for models and let's add in our bed and click this filter here and check this free first to get free models and i am going to download this modern bed so hold shift and right click to place the 3d cursor and click this model to download it 
okay so now we have downloaded our modern bed so let's scale it down okay so we have added in our bed in our scene so let's go to camera settings and set the type to orthographic okay so change this orthographic view to zoom and press gz to move upward okay so now let's add in our other stuff so let's add in a table so i think this table will look fine so hold shift and right click here to bring the 3d cursor and download this table let's also add in a wardrobe okay so this one is looking good so hold shift and right click and download this wardrobe so let's also add in a coffee table okay so let's place this model real quick okay so let's also add in a laptop on our table so i like this one so let's add in here also let's add in a plant okay so this one is looking nice let's add in here so let's add in a chair okay so let's go to rendered view and let's see okay so our scene is looking very nice let's add in some good lights so let's go to solid view mode and let's add in here two area lights so go to add light and area light okay so we have rotated our light and let's decrease its size and let's bring it forward okay so let's increase the size let's press 3 for side view and increase its size okay so now press alt d to duplicate with same data properties and press y to move it on the y axis okay fine and let's move both of them a bit behind okay so press 0 for camera view and let's go to render render view okay so let's increase its power to 50 okay so not 50 i guess 30 will look fine okay so 30 is looking great let's add in some other lights in here so let's add in an area light above our scene let's increase the power to 20 fine and let's add two point light one here and one here so add light point light and let's move it on the y axis increase the radius to 3 and set the power to 50 let's also hit all d here and move it on the x-axis and now on the y-axis so let's see how our scene is looking okay so let's uh, move our plant on the y-axis a little bit okay beautiful okay so let's change our floor material because it's looking very dark so let's go to materials and click our cube and let's find another floor material in here okay so i like this one let's click this okay so now i think it has replaced our floor material okay so now let's go to edit mode and turn on overlays and go to uv smart e project okay so now i guess everything is fine let's see 
okay so let's in increase the scale of our wooden floor material so go to scale and set that to 2 and set the y to 2 and let's go to render rendered view okay so now let's change the color of our area lights so let's select the top one and set the color to a bit of orange okay with the saturation of 0.6 and with the hue of 0.7 or sorry with the hue of 0 0.07 okay so same for these two 0.6 and 0 0.07 okay so now our scene is looking very great so let's add in a plane to stage our view okay so let's change the material of our floor so click new and set the base color to a bit of black just like this and increase the specular roughness sheen and sheen tint to one and let's see what you have got also let's go to output properties and tick this render region now let's see okay so now we are getting a very much beautiful scene in here so let's go to render settings and set the colors management to from the look to high contrast and now as you can see our scene is looking much better than before so let's go to render settings and change the samples to let's say 5000 for me and now hit f12 to render okay so that's it guys we have made our cool isometric bedroom in blender which was very easy to make and if you like this video hit that like button and press subscribing for more great content and i'll see you in the next video goodbye